Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football. Where do you start with Southgate and England? I tell you what, it's uh, it's just it's just so repetitive. I, I've said before, I think the best agent in, in, in world football is Jermaine Genus. His agent gets him all sorts of jobs with very little talent. But I've got to say, even he's in the shadows when it comes to Southgate's PR. It's absolutely incredible how this man gets linked to jobs like Manchester United. He shouldn't be being linked to Rotherham United. And yet we go and see the sharp reality against Brazil again. And it's not the first time we've seen it. You could give Southgate the Mona Lisa and he'd rest his cup of tea on it and, you know, drop crumbs all over it. He doesn't know what to do with fine art. He doesn't know what to do with this England squad. And he gets away with it on PR and vibes. And the media fall for it. I think even some of England's players fall for it. Bottom line is, if you get a collection of porn stars and get them round to a spa every few months, they're going to enjoy the break, aren't they? You know, they're used to a very active and energetic, exciting position life. They come every three months to Southgate's spa, sit down, watch a bit of countdown, get pampered. Of course, they're going to bloody like it. Of course, they're going to like it. But it ain't porn and it ain't interesting to watch. And that's what you get with Southgate's England. It's boring. It's boring. And people get lost in the PR and, and, and the whole, oh, he's such a good team manager. He's basically a gran. He's basically a gran. Uh, rest in peace, my gran. But like, basically, she lived in Nottingham. I hadn't lived there for years. And every couple of months, I'd go and see her. And I used to really look forward to it. She'd drop a bit of whiskey in my tea. We'd sit and down, have a cup of tea and biscuits, reminisce, have a chat. Really loved my time there. She was a great manager of people, like Southgate. But I didn't get anything done. I wasn't getting any work done. I wasn't doing anything creative. I was just sitting down, having a lovely cup of tea and biscuit with my gran. A nice, warm, cosy feel. And that's what Southgate's generated for the media and for the players. And unfortunately, the media and certain players have lost that ad adoration for Southgate with actual performance on the football pitch. Because surprise, surprise, and no, Silla Black's not back from the dead. Surprise, surprise, winning at the highest level is about having tough decisions, real leadership, dictatorship, whatever you want to call it. It's not about come round my house and have a cup of tea and biscuits. And that's what Southgate generates. And the brilliant thing about the Brazil performance last night is, is the same old crap happens time and time again. And then it's a reality bite after the game where everyone goes, get rid of him, sack Southgate, etc. Which I, which I don't, I'm not even going to say on this show. I think I still think we can win the Euros and people are going to go mad. But that's the that's the levels of the game we're playing here. International football isn't that difficult. Deschamps has won the World Cup with France. I don't think he's a great coach. Roberto Martinez is a terrible coach who survives in international football. International football is low standard. I think a lot of international managers would be championship managers in England. I, I don't... I'm, Roberto Martinez doesn't get a job in the Premier League. Southgate doesn't get a job in the Premier League. They're not good enough. International football is slower, more pragmatic, and you can grind your way through qualification easily and also the latter stages of the World Cup and the Euros. And it's only at the very end of those latter stages that you'll get exposed if you manage someone like England. So international football is, is very easy. And I think England have so many players. We've got the, one of the best strikers in the world. We've got one of the best players in the world in Bellingham. You've got people like Saka, Foden, Declan Rice. So many good players. I think we could win the Euros with Mr Bean in charge. And I think we will win the Euros. But if we don't win the Euros, we won't win it because of Southgate. And if we do win it, we'll win it because of the players. And if we don't win it... I'll know, like all of you, that we should have won it because I look at that squad and they should have won it. They should have won the Euros before at Wembley. We probably should have won the World Cup and we definitely should win these Euros. So for me, Southgate's out of the equation when it comes to this because he, he is just in this weird position where for the last few days, you've got the British media linking the guy to the, to the Man United job and other jobs and saying what a great coach he is. And what they've done is... They've done something we don't do. They've forgotten what England is like under Southgate. And I fell into that trap many a time. But I didn't this week because they dared to link him to my club. We look at the England squad. We get really excited and say we're going to batter Brazil. We're going to batter everybody. We're so good. Because we see Foden for Man City. We see Rice for Arsenal. We see Kane for Bayern Munich. We see all these great players, Bellingham at Real Madrid. And we go... 
put them all together and what have you got? It's definitely going to work. And it never does. It never does because despite all the great man management and despite all the brilliant press conferences where you probably get croissants and hot coffee provided by Southgate, the reality is you can buy all the presents for somebody to make them marry you. But when the home life's boring, the home life's boring. And the point is... England are boring under Southgate. We always have been. There's a rich CV of boredom. We've, we've very rarely, in the time he's been there, I guarantee you we've never played more than a half of decent football. And it probably happens once every 10 games. There's no consistency to this. There is no rhythm to this. It, it's absolutely shocking, actually, when you look at it, that the FA, and it happens at other countries, to be fair, probably the same with Deschamps at France, to be honest, you have this great centric collection of talent and they all play very similar styles of football. Arsenal, Manchester City, there are very, very similar themes. Obviously, Arteta was under Pep. Um, and you've also got players from other clubs that play brands of football that are very expansive these days. Anyway, even someone like Dunk at Brighton is used to playing expansive football. And then you recruit a manager who belongs at a bottom half championship team. Like, you know, he's almost playing National League tactics. It's it's Jurassic Park. It's the late 80s. It's really basic football. Um, and that's not just Southgate, that's Southgate, that's his coaches as well. It's pragmatic, back four. Your fullbacks can get forward, but only overlap. Don't ever come centrally, always overlap. You know, we're looking at fullbacks these days who are dropping in the midfield. We're looking at centre backs these days who are dropping into the midfield. You know, not 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 with Southgate. You've got fullbacks who must only overlap, and you've got to get back. You've got a holding midfielder who can never leave the centre backs. And you look at Declan Rice against Brazil. What a waste! What a waste! Limiting Declan Rice, waste. Phil Foden on the right wing, a waste of time. Put him on the right wing for Man City. He's playing the game. These players that we've got do not fit the way Southgate plays football. And they can all get together and have a great time at St. James's, St. George's Park. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they do like it. But has anybody ever thought that if I go to work tomorrow in the office and I take in Krispy Kremes and say, we're going to watch Love Island this morning, or no, no, we're not watching that. That'll depress people. We're going to watch The Godfather this morning and then we're going to go out for a lovely lamb lunch Drinks are on me and then we're going to come back and play paintball. And then tonight we're out on the piss. And that, and the same again tomorrow with a different film and a different dinner. Oh, you're the best job. In, you're, you're the best manager in the world. We don't we don't actually produce anything, though. The actual job we're there to do doesn't get done. But I'm the best manager in the world because, you know, it's Krispy Kremes for breakfast. It's 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 a film watch along. You know, this is what people don't realize. Man management and the fact that the players like you doesn't mean you are a good manager. It just means you are modicoddling and pampering the modern English footballer, but you are not delivering in the key areas. And the football is atrocious, and it has been for years. Would I south sack Southgate? I think he should have gone after the World Cup. I think that was a bottle job against France, and he should have gone after the World Cup. I think he should go after the Euros, but I think we will win it because I just have the feeling that the likes of Ju he relies on individualism. You know, there was always links with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Southgate because they relied on pragmatic defence and moments. And I think there's too many players in that England team that will provide you a moment, whether it's Harry Kane, whether it's Jude Bellingham, you know, even Declan Rice, whether a set piece from Maguire or Stones, that a free kick from a Trent. You know, there are too many players that can provide a moment in international football. I believe we will win the Euros. I don't think we will entertain in the Euros. Um, but the, the, scare, the, the sad thing is, if I manage that England team, or you manage that England team, you could almost walk into the dressing room and go, you know how you play for your club. Let's just do it. Let's keep it really simple. You lot play for City. You lot play for Arsenal. You lot play a similar style of football. We're going to keep it really simple. We don't get together that often. Just go out there and express yourselves in the way that you do for your club team and we'll blow everyone away. And we've got a manager that puts the handbrake on. Get your comments in below. Smash a like on the video. Let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget as well, just adding this in. It was on the watch along last night. I've got to say it's absolutely incredible. Hello Fresh. That's my lunch today. 
You can get meals delivered to your door. You get all the ingredients. You get all the instructions. And what an offer this is. Links in the description. Scan the QR code. 60% off your first box. So if you order three or four meals to get delivered to your door with all the ingredients and all the instructions, then you can get 60% off your first box with the code TF2024. Also, you get 20% off for the next two months and free desserts for life. And when we're talking about desserts, yes, I've got the beef, potatoes and veg for lunch. What a Sunday lunch. But I've also got this for my pudding. Apple and red berry oaty crumble dessert. Back of the net. Check it out. It's an amazing offer with HelloFresh. Links in the description. I'll speak to you on the next one. Get your comments in below about Southgate.